He's gonna go in the graveyard. Boy! What's up? I'm back and I'm hopping on the trend that's been going on recently, which is creators talking about the updates, such as people like B Rad and others. The only person I actually saw was B Rad. But yeah, I thought I'd talk about it. As you can tell, this is a voice recording because the clips are cutting and I'm still talking. So I recorded some top ladder matches, did some pushing like four five three games something like that and i will talk about the new update and also do some post-match commentating and see maybe can point out some mistakes i made and stuff during the matches but yeah let's get into it so let's talk about card evolution uh first of all it looks cracked out of its mind like jesus christ so it's royal giant barbs skeletons and firecracker for those of you who don't know the stupid thing is they're adding a mid-season, which is really dumb because all the grinding of ladder I did, I feel like it's going to go to waste because I don't play either of the four cards. And if I play them against them a lot, I'm either going to have to modify my deck or just use a different deck completely because I do have a Mega Knight Roll Giant deck that I used to use. So if Roll Giant gets boosted, I might have to switch to it if it's really goddamn strong. So we'll see. Hopefully I don't choke a ladder finish because of that. But uh, this goes with everyone who's grinding ladder, by the way, which uh, you shouldn't do. Do not grind ladder. It's not worth it. I don't know why I'm doing it. But yeah, the evolutions look kind of cracked. I feel like if they're going to make it fair, they have to evolve like every single card or at least every single common card, right? Because or else it just it wouldn't be fair. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to slowly do that. And uh, I don't know. I guess the one positive thing I can say is you can't knock it until you try it. It might be a lot better than we think. I doubt it. It probably sucks bullshit ass, but it's okay because the game already sucks. Remember when they had updates and they would drop them like during the start of every season? They wouldn't drop a stupid update in the middle of the season. I remember like very recently they've been dropping like balance changes in the middle of a goddamn season. So it would like nerf my deck or something and then I'll die. I don't know. I remember there's like a spree where my card the cards of my deck just kept getting nerfed. Also, right here, uh, I notice I'm hitting the tower with my lightning because a lot of the times I don't. Uh, because I don't want the tower to retarget. But this time I have to because I'm getting dangerously low on my tower health. And overtime's almost over, so I gotta get back in the damage game. Cause it's pretty close. So I gotta lightning the tower as well every time now. So, yeah, about card evolution, I don't think I'm going to like it. I think the worst out of all four for me is probably probably the barbs, honestly. They're going to be used in counter pushes really well for me. Uh, each, I mean, Roll Giant's not terrible because I don't have like a skeleton army that will get affected by it. Firecracker? Oh my god, Firecracker. I'm going to have to lightning the Firecracker because Arrows doesn't one-shot it. All right, that's bullshit, first of all. Second of all, this is a really close match that I won. Um, GG's to Noah. Never played him before. He runs Splash Herd. I played Splash Herd in the next match. Um, so, I don't know why I'm playing so much Splash Herd. But, yeah. I do a nice little transition cut here. It's smooth as shit. You gotta agree. Where, right when I press OK, it just cues into the next match. It's a sick-ass cut. Good job, Austin. How do you do it? I don't know. But, we are in another match. And I cut until double because we leaked until double for both of the matches. But I am getting off topic again. To uh, uh, off topic again. Now, uh, B Rad mentioned in his video that upgrading a card from level 14 to level 15 will cost 50,000 fucking wild cards or wild shards or whatever the hell they're called. Hell no. Hell no. I have a lot of. What the fuck? Okay, I forgot about that. <laughs> he missed his graveyard. Oh my god, that was that was sad. Anyways, though, hell no. I ain't doing that. I cannot imagine how many rares and legendaries and champions you need. Thank the lord I don't have a champion in my deck. Because if I did, if I did, I would be screwed in trying to level it up. Right here, it was really clutch that my hunter survived because it sniped that baby dragon. And I got a free lightning because he kind of cycled a poison. So I felt that I can just cycle something without getting punished. Tesla, archers, he poisons, but we're good. But yeah, so that's a that's a big problem. It's like 25,000 
common cards to get from 14 to 15. And that's really retard. Oh, I can't say that word. That's really dumb. I don't know how the Supercell devs thought of that. Or the Clash Royale devs thought of that. And uh, I'm not in the Supercell content creator program. So I don't get any of this insight and stuff. I wonder why. Uh, but no, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting more off topic again. But my point is... I'm pretty sure Brad has the inside stuff because he's pretty family friendly. So he's in the uh, he's in the creator program. Also, my balloon gets a shot here, which is really nice because his tornado was out of cycle. So uh, his in he got inside of information that many people were protesting against it, but they didn't listen. So I cannot neither confirm or deny. Also, he went babe drag this lane. Like I thought he was gonna go graveyard, uh, and I could go arch just because his poison was out of rotation. I do a prediction of lightning, get a tombstone. And now I just need a little more spells. But uh, B-Rat said that like people were against the idea, obviously. So I don't really know what the devs are on about. Apparently, they listen to the community. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's some inside stuff that I'm not caught up with. There probably is a lot of inside stuff that I'm not caught up with. But I just, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. I think I saw an ad too where Clash said this is going to be like the biggest update ever or something stupid like that. You guys know me, I speak my mind and that's probably why I don't get no creator code. And I might be a little colorful with my word choices, but I do gotta like look past the negatives and see the positives. At least they're doing something. <laughs> that's really stupid actually. Obviously they're doing something, but... I don't know. Let me think of something to compliment Supercell about. I don't have anything. I don't know. But on another note, what would an evolved Mega Knight look like? That would be nuts. I mean, if they made that shit, I'm right back in it. Right back playing the game. Evolved Balloon. Jesus. What would that look like? That would be crazy if they did that. So, I feel like... I feel like they're making the evolution thing because they're trying to start something... I don't know exactly if they are, but it can get, like, cracked out of its mind really quick. Because if common cards evolve to, like, the point where two, two elixir can three crown someone, then what the hell would a Mega Knight turn into? It'd be, like, as fast as a Lumberjack and does as much as a P.E.K.K.A. I mean, I wouldn't mind that. That's all I'm saying. Like, like Supercell, if you're watching this video, I wouldn't mind. So, yeah, overall, um... I don't want to hate it because it hasn't even came out yet. No one tried it. I mean, uh, you can kind of have expectations and just assume stuff, but you haven't tried it yet. It probably is as bad as it sounds, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt until I try it. Anyways, so let's try to focus on commentary now. I'm going to try to point out some mistakes I made. This is against Kotori. Kotori. I played him a couple days ago, I think. He was running the same minor uh, rocket cycle deck, but with Royal Giant, I beat him. Uh, I don't know why he had Royal Giant. That kind of just slowed down the cycle and didn't really help him much because he couldn't support it with anything except for maybe a minor. Um, but I think I go Mega Knight. No, I go Tesla, yeah. And he has guards and Ice Golem. I think I used to play him a lot in the past, like before, before the the new ladder system just a while like years ago and he used to just run this dark prince world delivery deck and he used to beat me every single time but how the tables have turned i don't know he was running kind of a different deck anyways balloon force out a rocket so it's a plus elixir trade for me and here's the thing if i go balloon he has to rocket or inferno tower but most of the time rocket because i force out the inferno tower with my mega knight so the good thing is I can go with lightnings more often than he, he can go rocket, but I go with the Valk to get King Tower in case uh, just to get the miner down lower health lightning. Also, as you guys see throughout this matchup, since I know he has Inferno Tower and Rocket, I never go uh, both Mega Knight and Balloon because that just gives him good value. I don't until the very end because I find a different placement that you guys will see. And I just go Mega Knight here. Boom. I sack the E-Spirit. Not a huge deal. And I think I support this Mega Knight with a Hunter. And yeah. Because I just don't want to go Balloon. It give him too good of a value. And I just go with a Lightning. And then 
I think I just go balloon opposite lane to force out a rocket. So I'll be up one elixir and our cycles will be pretty even. But I figured, or it turns out that he does go with a rocket. So in my head, I thought, well, I might be fucked because he might cycle a rocket now. And he does exactly what I just said. So that's a little bad because now all the damage I just worked for, I'm down again. But I thought I might have a chance because that was a bit of an aggressive rocket. I go the... Ooh, I forgot about that. Uh, I go Valk opposite lane. I go balloon the middle. I remember this now. Yeah, this was the only time I went balloon the same time out of Mega Knight down. Or maybe I, I didn't, but let's go that arrow. And I think he went East Spirit, but didn't work. He missed his Inferno Tower. Even if the Inferno Tower were to pull the balloon, I don't think it would have done anything because the balloon would have just killed it quicker. But GG's to him. He kind of messed up a little bit there, but I'll take it. I just listened back to my recording and I sound a little ear rapish. I think I might have put my mouth too close to the mic. I don't know, but we're against Julian. I played this guy like five times this season already and I knew he was running Royal Giant. So uh, he did not leak, but he leaked a little bit or else I would have cut. Hmm, let's see, what do I talk about now? Molt. What happened to Molt? Is he still around? I haven't checked. Should I check? You know what? I'm going to check right now. Molt. Is Molt still uploading? Uh, he is. Two weeks ago. Damn. What about... Oh, wait. Never mind. That's a long story. Alright. Mega Knight in the back. Uh, I knew that he only had, uh, Phoenix and no other air troop except for Fireball. Or, no, yeah. No other air troop. So... Actually, in hindsight, I should have gone balloon here. I'm a stupid. Why did I not? Damn, I'm dumb. I should have gone balloon immediately. But, uh, yeah, I didn't for some odd reason. And I had to sack some damage for him, the Royal Ghost. Here's the thing. If I didn't, if I did go balloon, then I'll be one cycle forward and I can go Valk for the Royal Ghost instead. And I could save the Tesla for a future Royal Giant. But good thing is, he doesn't really go aggressive. And as you can see, I noticed that he's going um, Fisherman in the back. And a little bit later, I do decide to go with uh, Valk at the bridge. Just to get some damage. Because I was down a bit. And you guys will see that. And yeah, he fireballs that. And he goes East Spirit as well to make sure it doesn't get a shot. Remember when, uh, remember when Fireball used to one-shot balloons? Like, not one-shot, but... One fireball would, like, make it so that it doesn't get a hit on the tower. That was bullshit, by the way. I think he had, like, a crazy knockback. Like, as much knockback as, like, a snowball or something like that. Anyways, we go Tesla. Uh, this is gonna help me a lot on commentary as well. Mega Knight. It's so much harder to commentate when you're live than post-editing commentary. Because you don't really have to think as much. I think I Lightning the Phoenix. Yeah. And the fisherman here, that jumps. I go archers, because Log doesn't one-tap them. And he goes E-Spirit, but it doesn't hit the archers. So we're fine. I arrow just in case to kill the egg. And we are good. I think I set up with another Tesla here soon. Yeah, and this is where, when he goes fisherman, I just go Valk. Because I need it to get damaged, because look at my left tower. It's not great. And I can get a good lightning too if he goes phoenix. Which he does, so I lightning that. And uh, this forces him to go aggressive because now he's down damage. Uh, he goes in the right lane, I think. Left lane, I'm stupid. I go archers. Then I knew that was a baby phoenix, so it wasn't going to be as strong. So I go Tesla. And wait a second, is it as strong? I don't remember. I never checked the stats for a phoenix. All I know is that it's like really, it's much smaller. And I think it has less health or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, I go Valk. He does go in with the Royal Giant on the right lane here. I go with Archers, and that's it. I just let that go. Bit risky, but we just go with a Balloon. And I felt like I can sack some damage because the right side was relatively healthy. And I think the amount of damage I'll get on the left will be good enough. So I Lightning that, and I get one more shot with the Balloon before the Phoenix comes down. And it absolutely eats it. God damn I don't know why I always think of Angry Birds when I see Phoenix, but... Oh, what happened to Angry Birds? Do they still make games? Remember the 
like the Star Wars Angry Birds and other ver versions and stuff. Anyways, I go balloon here. I don't know why I keep getting off topic. Maybe I have like ADHD or something. What does ADHD even mean? I forgot what it stood for. I'm getting off topic again. Um, Tesla, then I go Valk, and I go Hunter. This is where it got a little close. I didn't realize how low my tower was until I saw it. Because <laughs> I, I wasn't really looking at it. But I didn't arrow because if I arrowed that, then he would have an easier chance to lightning block. So I didn't arrow. I lightninged because I knew that arrows only did 140 something. It wouldn't kill it anyways. But yeah, GG's. I pushed up to top 70 because I'm tilted. <laughs> so I kind of untilted a little bit. Still not what I like, but hope you enjoy. Bye.